ist Matthias Golle. Ich bin My name is Matthias Gulli. I am a board member of the Intel Energy Cooperative. We are here in beautiful Weimar, Germany. Today I am talking about stakeholders, stakeholder management and time management in energy cooperatives. We founded our energy cooperative in 2012. We now have around 200 members and around 10 projects, photovoltaic systems, and are also involved in two wind projects and deal a bit with electromobility. We're standing here on the roof of a project. We also see one of our photovoltaic systems behind us. We are here in the center of the city on a listed building that was renovated about five years ago and then we had the chance to set up around 30 kilowatt photovoltaic systems. The peculiarity of energy cooperatives is the community. So you always have to deal with a lot of people. And what are stakeholders? Stakeholders are people. Everyone is a stakeholder in the end. We can group that up a bit, so we have people within our community, our cooperative, the members, who of course, want to be founded, and we have people outside of our cooperative, including potential project partners, potential electricity customers, cooperation partners, associations. Other initiatives, the list goes on and on, and the intriguing question is, of course, how do you organize this huge network of relationships, and what is especially important and expedient for you as an energy cooperative? Within our cooperative, we are now trying to organize this in such a way that not all tasks are performed on a voluntary basis. Two years ago, we were able to create a paid job, an assistant position. That was very valuable to us and it still is. And so we now have a really great employee who virtually takes care of the management of the members, including press work. We have a really great office, which is now also here in the city center, where you have fixed opening times, where people can knock and just come in, get information. And we are now catching up all of that a bit with paid work. That helps a lot and also helps them on a voluntary basis to relieve our board, which is still voluntary. Through this paid work by our employees, the board of directors can focus much more on stakeholders outside of our cooperative, so on really exciting project partners. We're going on purposefully housing cooperatives, for example with the topic of tenant electricity. We specifically approach farmers and say people, you have the land. We are an energy cooperative from the region. Let's see if we can do something together. You are daily, weekly asked by project developers who would like to use your land. But let's do it together on site. Keep the added value here. Get people involved. We also approach project developers of wind power projects. At the moment we are trying to develop a community wind project here between Weimar and Jena. We also approach farmers, for example, because they are our natural partners. The farmers have the land. They are also asked from project developers a lot. But we are from the region. We are an energy cooperative. We say let's implement the projects together. Keep the added value here and involve the citizens. 
Another project that we are currently pursuing is a wind project right here near Weimar. We are cooperating with a project developer, namely the company Energy Source, and try to develop a community wind farm together, where we work together on the farmers and also on the municipalities from the start to go and say you have a potential area here. At the moment energy prices are rising tremendously in Europe, and we are also noticing that the industry on the one hand due to increased prices, but on the other hand also because they are given climate protection requirements, want to invest more and more in renewable energies, and so we also target companies and say we can also do this together with you. We now have a project at the Airford Cross, for example, where an energy cooperative builds a small solar park and then leases the system to the company, which can supply itself at least 20% with green electricity. Another group of stakeholders that are interesting for us are the municipal climate protection managers. Unfortunately, they are not yet everywhere, but in many cities and counties, because this is also funded by the Federal Republic of Germany, and these climate protection managers are very good multipliers. They know their district well and of course have a job which deals with renewable energies, with participation, with local value creation, and with climate protection, of course, and are therefore natural partners for us. And we can also look for and develop joint projects. Looking back, yes, whether you call that a mistake, a mistake we made, we founded a cooperative in 2012, here in Weimar, and in 2013 another one in the immediate vicinity. We noticed afterwards, the costs are there on both sides, and it actually makes sense to join forces. And that also cost us a little energy, but we managed to merge the two cooperatives again, to merge them, and to develop new synergies from this. There was also another very exciting process, because there were different ideas between the supervisory board and the directors on the development of the cooperative. Should it grow, or should it just go with the one great big project that is totally profitable and stay it that way? What helps a lot when organizing an energy cooperative? Good time management. And at the same time, it is a huge challenge too. Our cooperative is now almost 10 years old. And in retrospect, we, and I think all of us imagined it much faster and also completely underestimated how much time you put in. That is why it is important, and we have already managed a little, to always make sure that it is not only based on volunteering commitment, that you also create paid work, and that you then focus on the projects. Even with the projects what is now a not a hobby project, but maybe a strategic project and what projects cover the costs within a cooperative and generate income. Because at the end of the day we of course also have costs that we have to cover. And we always want very much to deal responsibly with our members' money. What helped us, especially at the beginning, was a bit of luck that we were able to participate with our cooperative in a wind project very early and could generate income. It was similar to our solar park project, there we managed to achieve by cooperating with a small regional photovoltaic company to get a chance to participate in a tender for an area of two hectares. 
So we were able to build a solar park there, which continues to deliver very good yields to this day. Engagement in an energy cooperative is a bit of an endurance sport. I always say it's a small marathon, and we've definitely lost people on this long path. The very active people in our community really do it out of conviction. We are really interested in moving forward. The third time it is not necessary to implement the projects by yourself, but to stimulate the others, and if someone else implements them then we gained a lot. And therefore, you cannot count up economically every hour that you invest. It is also a commitment to climate protection and the energy transition. Where we as an energy cooperative also had to learn how to organize within our cooperative, so the relationship between active people and, let me say so, simple members. How do I activate people to participate, to actively participate? We are now trying to solve this, for example by sponsoring various work packages, also in writing, and to clearly delimit the areas of responsibility, and also to be able to give individual people clearly defined, smaller work packages. If someone says yes, I would like to get involved in the cooperative, then we also need an answer. Specifically, you can do that, and many people are willing to get involved, and it is important for you to be ready and also to be able to give a concrete answer. We would like a significantly larger contribution to the success of the energy transition and the switch to 100% renewable energies. That means we want every roof here in Weimar and in our region to have one photovoltaic system. We want the potential areas to be used for wind energy and, of course, best of all by the local residents. It is also important to involve young people in energy cooperatives. We actually managed to find a young board member Marcel, who had initially applied for the assistantship that we had advertised on the paid job. Did that for a year while still studying, and then developed so much interest that he said, I can imagine being on the board of directors. And that's an example that you can maybe copy again, and wherever we always invite young people to just take a look, take on sponsorships, maybe also participate in the development of specific projects. In order for us to achieve our goals as energy cooperatives, it is important that we focus, that we work with the people who share our goals with, that we can find people who are open to participation in joint projects, for cooperation, who also want 100% energy transition. 